Hey guys, I'm Daniel and the, the question we have here is um, what is the molarity of a solution that is 5.50% by mass oxalic acid and has a density of 1.0244 grams per milliliter? Okay. So the first step in solving this, in the, in solving this problem is to <coughs> uh, figure out how much of uh, oxalic acid we have in mass and how much of a uh, solvent we have. Okay, now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write. Uh, actually, I'll get to that in a little bit. All right, let me start off by putting. Uh, we're gonna assume that we have 100 grams. Okay, 100 grams total, which makes our conversion of mass a lot more simpler. So we have 100 grams total. It means that we have 5.5. Okay, so the mass of oxalic acid. All right, is equal to 5.50 grams of C2H2O4. Okay, and, and we're going to be assuming that um, we have 94.5 grams of solvents. Solvents, and just for, you know, uh, uh, I guess um, making it a little bit more easier for you to, uh, I guess, visual, visualize what's actually happening in this problem, I'm going to be assuming that this is water, okay? Keep in mind it is not water. Okay, it doesn't tell you what the, the solvent is, but I'm just going to put water. Just because, um, I guess everyone knows that some things dissolve in water. Alright? So, the, in order to solve this equation, we need to convert the, the, this, uh, this uh, sample of uh, uh, oxalic acid into moles. Okay? And the way we can do that is by multiplying by the molar mass and manipulating the equation are manipulating the, ant the, the numbers to get moles of oxalic acid and we need to change this solvent into liters by using the density of the, of the solvents. Okay? So let's start off over here by, using, by converting this mass of oxalic acid into moles of the same oxalic acid. All right? So we multiply it by, and let me find the molar mass. The molar mass here is equal to 12.01 times 2 plus 1.008 times 2 plus 16 times 4 gives you 90.036 grams. 90.036 grams per mole of oxalic acid, which is C2H2O4. Okay, so our grams will cancel out grams and leave us with moles, which is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and divide 5.5 divide, divided by 90.036. And you should get 0 0.0611. All right. So let's go ahead and write this down. Equals 0 0.0611 uh, moles of C2H4, C2H2O4. All right. Now let's use our. Now we, let's work on this side of the problem. 94.5 grams of solvents, but I'm writing it as H2O. Let's multiply that by the density in order to get liters, or to try to get to liters eventually. So in order to cancel out grams and grams, I'll write 1.0244 on the denominator, grams per milliliter, all right? And keep in mind that this, the equation for molarity, all right, let me write it this down. Molarity, big M, is equal to moles of solute per liter of solution. All right. So we need to convert. We're not done here. We're not. We need to convert our milliliters into liters. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a thousand. Actually, I'm using the wrong type of marker. Sorry about that. So we multiply by a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Okay. And if you look at our units, our grams cancel out grams, milliliters kills milliliters, leaving us with liters, which is what we're looking for. So when doing that calculation, 94.5 divided by 1.0244 divided by 1,000, we're, we're left with 0 .0, 0 0.09225 liters of H2O, which is our solvents, and just a little refresher, 
It is not water. I'm just labeling it as water because it's a little bit more easy to visualize. Okay. So next step of our of our problem is to get this volume and uh, put it under our moles. Okay. So that we're able to find the molarity. All right. So let me copy this over here. So put that up there. So 0 0.09. 225 liters of H2O. Alright, so now when doing this problem, we we can uh, observe that this this looks similar or it is the exact same thing as our molarity equation. Alright, so we're doing good. So we have 0 0.06111 or 0 0.0611 divided by 0 0.09225 and it gives you an answer of 0.6. 0.662 molars, right? So that's going to be our answer here. And uh, if you're doing the same test or actually uh, same problem set as I am, uh, for some reason they have the answer as 0.626 or something like that. But um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, maybe they rounded it more than I did. Uh, I like to carry my values throughout because, as you can see, it made a difference. But I assure you, this is the right way to do the problem. All right, you can trust me with this uh, with this uh, method of solving this problem. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. And good luck to see you if you find it on the exam. Thanks for watching.